Hello and welcome back to Kinwoven. I'm Rebecca Robeson and today I'm going to show you the reveal of my living room, my music room and my sunroom. Now let me first start this video by saying thank you to Lutron for sponsoring this video. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't do sponsored videos unless I believe in the product, and I do. Can I just tell you? All right, the first thing I do when I walk in in the morning, I say, Alexa, turn on good morning. I have these new Serena Smart Shades by Lutron. And the reason I was willing to do this branded video is because I have been working with Lutron for 20 plus years. Every project I've ever done, I use the Serena Smart Shades. And they come in so many different fabrics to choose from, but look how beautiful they are. These are light filtering. That's what I like about them. Yet you can get them in complete room darkening or blackout if you want. But I like to be able to see through in the daytime. But I also like at night or when the sun is really coming through. I like the peace of mind that I get when I can be in my cozy space and I can have, I can create a comfort zone. I can have it smoky in here if I want. And I don't even have to cook to do that, which is usually what happens when I cook. You know, I can make it like, you know, moody and smoky, or I can have it all up and bright and cheery, or I can have them at different heights just to get enough light in. I can just use the Pico little like motorized remote thing and I can make it work that way or I can use my phone. I can do the A word and then they have other apps similar to that that you can use if you have them on your phone. So it's pretty much easy peasy no matter how you look at it. You know, in my last house, I only had a great room. I didn't have a living room and a family room. So I only had furniture for one room. That meant I was going to need to, oh darn, go shopping. I was going to need to buy all new furniture for this room. And when I got here, I looked at the space and what I loved was this room over here. It's the sunroom. You're gonna get to see it in a minute. And I loved the arch into this little breakfast room. Oh, I just thought it was so pretty. But what I didn't love was the lack of symmetry on this wall. Your first impression when you walk in the room. On one side, you know, you have this really cool fireplace. And over here, there's a door to that sunroom. But over here, it was solid drywall. There wasn't that feeling of symmetry. I decided to open up this wall. so that I could create symmetry on this wall and look how it turned out. The perfect place to have four chairs facing each other, a conversational area, a table in the center to ground it, two side tables to have a drink as you're talking to people and all of it centered on the fireplace and look, is she not absolutely fantastic? I don't even think fantastic is the right word. She's. She's not even spectacular. She's just, well, she is perfect. Then I anchored this space with an area rug that I already had, threw some throw pillows on here. And here's the reason I picked this brick color. The favorite thing of mine in this house when I bought it was the sunroom, which is clad in brick. So here's my style, you guys. By the way, you know, we all have a style. And if you don't know what your style is, we can help you with that. Go to our website or download the Design Sessions app and we can help you discover your style. So my style here for this house is industrial. Why? Brick room. Love the brick, gonna use it more. In fact, the entire outside of my house is brick. Number two, modern. Look at the modern clean lines of this furniture. But the last one, three things, Glam, baby. <laughs> I know, I love a touch of glam. Now when I say glam, I'm not talking rhinestones or, or um, crystals. I'm talking just a touch of metallic here and there. Is this like the best horse ever? Horses are kind of in my theme too. Why horses? Well, it's not like I'm a equestrian. I like strength. 
and I like the beauty of a horse and the, the majestic nature of a horse. That leads me over here to, oh my gosh, this is a Jean Richardson original painting. I decided to treat myself to a couple little things. And look at this horse. The colors in here are so rich. But guess what? Do you guys remember these? I mean, I love the painting, but it's not, it doesn't cover enough of the wall to make enough of a statement. So I have these gold panels. It elongates my wall. So here's the deal. I've got this long space. You don't have to necessarily have a horizontal piece of art. You can put several pieces together to make a horizontal piece of art. I bought two cabinets to go down here and I painted this wall black, baby. Oh my gosh. Talk about glam. Isn't this so dramatic and so sophisticated? I chose the metal parts to be in a brushed brass. And look how it just pops off of that black wall. Leave me a comment below and let me know, do you like my black wall? And if you do, what do you think about the white accessories in front of it? If you wanna know the real details of these rooms and you wanna hear about it and see it, with my piano playing in the background, because, oh, I don't think I mentioned, it is a player piano. It came with an invisible man who sits at the piano and plays whatever my heart's desire is. I mean, that doesn't get much better than that, I don't think. So it's amazing, but I can't play it here on YouTube because of copyright issues. But on the design sessions, which I'm going to do a very detailed overview and show you the pieces of furniture that I purchased and all the exact accessories and where you can buy those things. All of the details of this space will be on the design sessions and there I can play my piano for you. So you're welcome and it's fabulous. So come over to the design sessions. If you're not a member, you're gonna love it. I have it plays off of an iPad. It's, it's uh, electronic. And it plays not only just piano music, but it also plays voices. So my favorite thing to do is to turn this puppy up real loud, to sit in my living room and listen to Celine Dion sing all by myself. And I stare at my woman above the fireplace, not feeling sorry for myself. I'm actually feeling empowered, just saying. Okay, so what else was I gonna do in this room? Look at this, I added this pendant light. Do you remember, have you ever seen this before? In my office on Presidio Drive in San Diego, I had this light fixture in the corner of my executive office. This little nook and cranny over here, I turned into just a, a display case. Now, okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, Go ahead and leave me a comment. A comment's a comment. You can, you can yell at me. If you say one thing about the fact that my books are turned around, <laughs> I'm telling you, I had these in here turned around yesterday and they looked terrible. So don't, you know, like, don't come at me because my books are turned around. So I only had three shelves. I had to divide these up in a way that I could still fill it. I put this very large platter back here to kind of fill in. And you look, you see silver, you see gold, you see the different things together. And then one of my other pieces that I have. And then on this side, now this is cool. I put my, I have a pair of these coral lamps. I put one here and one on the other side. Then I've got all this makings for martinis. I don't personally drink martinis unless someone makes it for me. It's not my drink of choice, but I have friends that love martinis. So they say you need vermouth, got it. Uh, Grey Goose, got it. Oh, and I have one friend who only drinks vodka that's made out of potatoes. That's the hard liquor side. And this is the Becky's liquor side. Actually, this is my favorite wine. Famous. So isn't this a cool wine opener? 
and I have a wine decanter and I have this one. Now, if you know how to use this thing, could you please leave me a comment because I do not know. Oh, it has a USB thing. Maybe I bet it has to be plugged in and charged. Oh my gosh, thank you very much. That was very helpful. <laughs> you actually did help me there. Welcome to my favorite room in the house, the sunroom. Now, actually, my dining room, breakfast room, whatever. And although this is intended for a meal, look what I have here now, a puzzle. I love puzzles. And it was one of the things on my list when I moved into my new home, I either wanted a puzzle room <laughs> or just a place where I could do puzzles. And I don't entertain for meals that often. So setting it up on this table I thought was great. And then I can sit here and I can look out at the weather, the snow, the sun, whatever, and I can do my puzzles. I've already separated the edge pieces over here. So if you wanna come over and just get started, that's where you'd start. I put my two tripod lamps. Remember where these used to be in my living room in my San Diego home? Put those right here and look, the black here, the black here, table here. Anybody see symmetry? Yes, indeed. And I love all these windows in here, but at the same time, it is so much light. What if you wanna have some privacy when you're having a little private dinner? Well, you can do this if you want. I mean, for starters. This is a, it's not an original. I decided to spend a little bit less money out here and not the original of this is really expensive. This is by Pentec. This is downtown Tulsa. This is a print. It's a signed and numbered or something. I don't know. Anyway, looks like the original. If I hadn't told you, you would never have known. But you also probably wouldn't know that the original is really expensive, but it's pretty spectacular. And one more place to sit in this room. It's a cute little cozy one seat area that I think is just fabulous for having your quiet time in the morning, reading a book. Another one of my industrial type tables, more natural plants. I absolutely love two pendants, one that just sits over this sitting area here and one over my dining table. And then I decided I wanted a ceiling fan for this room. And you'll see that the top of it is rounded again, which is indicative of these pendant lights. Well, as I continue on with the rest of the rooms in my house, you're gonna see even more how I tie in the brick and how I tie in these three styles from room to room to room. This month, I start the renovation of my guest bathroom. And I'm gonna tell you what, it's gonna be all three of those styles put together. I'm super excited about it. Huge, huge before and after, like night and day. So if you wanna see how that bathroom turns out, and I'll do a reveal video here on YouTube for you. However, I am gonna be doing a whole series on that on the design sessions. So if you want more information than what you got today on this, these three rooms, or you want more information on the bathroom I'm about to do, be sure to join the design sessions. All right, you guys, so much to talk about, so much to say. I will say again, thank you so much to Lutron for sponsoring this video, for providing me with this Serena Smart Shades because I just love having them in my home. It's really an honor. And you guys make a great product, so thank you. Thank you for all those years of <laughs> incredible customer service. I appreciate it. All right, you guys, I will see you next time. Good start to the new year, yeah, yeah? Okay, remember to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you've not already done that. Hit the little bell icon so that you are made alert every time we upload a new video and come join us at the design sessions. Over a hundred hours of exclusive content aimed at teaching you everything that Shara and I know about interior design. It is our privilege and our pleasure and you know what? This is gonna be a great year. So let's get this thing started. Let's get this thing going. I mean, I'm already going. I have talked so much. I hope this isn't just the longest video ever. <sighs> but a lot of good stuff, don't you think? All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.
Okay. <laughs> What's going on? I'm glad I didn't put you on the camus. Ugh. Now what? Okay. Well, that's embarrassing. Anybody know how this works? Okay, now I need you to tell me. Do you know how this thing works? 